Welcome back to another video. I never thought I'd see the day where me and Jed are- Are you okay? Where me and Jed are filming in bed. Woo! This one is not PG, guys. Anyways, hopefully this is one of many to come. Welcome to Pillow Talk. Right, without rambling too much, we are basically going to be answering slash reacting to because some we won't really necessarily be able to give an answer to. By no means are we trained psychiatrists, but we're going to give it a shot. Psychiatrists. Yeah. I mean, therapists. That's the one. Anyways, me and Jed are coming up to three years now. Without further ado, let's crack onto it. Also, me and Jed have made a joint TikTok account. So if you feel like having a gander, I shouldn't have given him a mug. Make sure to check out our TikTok because we're posting so much on it. This first one. I think is friggin brutal. My boyfriend tells me I need to go to the gym more often, otherwise I will gain weight. It depends, you need context for these. That's the problem with these, there's no context. Yeah. If she's moaning about her putting on weight, then that's just him trying to help her. Obviously so it's still that, horrible yeah. to hear, but if that if that's if that's the context, okay. I don't think it's that, if he just randomly said that to her, that is- Different story. That's the one good thing is, I feel like about this is we're gonna get a boy's point of view. Do you know what I mean? Cause instantly I'd be effing and blaring. I'd be like, why the hell are you telling me to go to the gym? Do you know what I mean? Like I'd take that as an insult, but I don't know whether that's just the female in me. I'm just trying to see it from both sides. It's tricky to say really, isn't it? I feel like if it's meant in a malicious way, being like, I don't like your body shape, get with someone new because I feel like when you're in a relationship, like you want someone to accept you for who you are mm. rather than the body that you're in. Then if he did just randomly go, yeah. oh like you're putting on weight, you should go gym. Us, that is yeah. so f***ing rude. Us females fluctuate, like there's no tomorrow as well. Like we blow, we gain it, we lose it. Literally depending on where that our cycle is, depends yeah. on how heavy we are, like that's mad. Yeah, I think definitely there's context to that one. I think flat out, not really their place to be saying as much as you might be and, and if, and if you did think that there's so many nicer ways to put it put it or like yeah it'd be like yeah oh do you want to start going gym together so uh, do you know what I, I mean, mean i think that's a little bit manipulative you're just trying to slide it yeah in there. I, I guess <laughs> it's a tricky mm. one it's a tricky one it, there's two sides to that one i agree with you bab right do you know what this is babe what t someone's asked you specifically something about me, me. I think, but I feel like we're going to apply it to a broader context. Okay, so does Imogen allow Jed to speak to other girls other than his friends? Other than like girlfriends? I mean, I, I just don't anymore. That's the thing, Jed has no girlfriends. I will say like, I got very lucky because I feel like I hear all those stories and it's like, oh, like I've just started dating this guy, but he has a girl best friend. Like it's really hard. We've actually like, do you know what I mean? Like you doesn't have friends that are girls. Like, you just don't. No, no I, I do back in Brighton. Like if I go on a night yeah. out, I, I know loads of like, yeah, the girls you know and those I'll, I'll talk to him then, but I mean if he did I don't know I know that I probably wouldn't like it you being like best friends with a girl because I mean there are always like different reservations different things about it yeah I, I've always thought the yeah. girl guy best friends have been pretty weird I think it kind of depends where you put those relationships on a scale <clears> in the sense that if your partner is kind of putting the friends like feelings and kind of like prioritizing them over you then you kind of know there's a bit of a mm. discrepancy towards them because i mean if you had like a girl best friend and you would be like oh I, like I, I, sorry babe like i've got to cancel i'm going out with da -da -da, i'd be like okay well that's not right Do i, you know I, I mean? think you should just set like boundaries like if, if it was before the relationship you're already best friends and you get into like you already know about it so that's that's a, like a much nicer thing yeah but also even with that i feel like say if Imogen and i had an argument and i ran to my girl best friend to write about it i think that's a a bit wrong but then yeah. yeah it's tricky i don't know it's not like no like by no means do i ever say like baby you can't talk to that person you can't talk to that person i think the one good thing with me and jed is we have a lot of communication so i think that's probably I have been... a lot of communication but there's definitely been times where i've been like what's this do you know what i mean what's the relationship between you two like say i've seen certain things pop up multiple times but not to say like i'm psychotic or uncontrollable i don't think i am no thanks that reassurance baby. well i don't talk to any girls so. no exactly but i'm just trying to think in like our first year of dating like nothing like that ever happened but i mean probably in the first year of dating whenever i'd speak to a girl sometimes you'd be like did you kiss her? have you kissed her before yeah i you always ask that. about the history that's what i do i don't know why it's just like something where i'm like okay but why like why what is yeah. going on it's right, i think she fancies you like, yeah but now jed it. always like he'll come in from like i don't know even being at the shops or he'll be downstairs and they'll be like oh my god you'll never guess what my the receptionist 
she was flirting with me. She'd be like, the, the, the lady down the road, she just gave me, she just winked at me. They and always like, wink at me. He makes these scenarios up and comes up, and I just know that he's like, actually, like, cry wolf, where I'm just like, just shut up. Like, but it's like funny, it's like a it's big a joke we joke, have yeah. between us now. Okay, do you two ever argue? I feel like me and my boyfriend argue a lot. I don't know if it's normal. It's so normal. I think it kind of depends because, to be fair, me and Jed don't really have arguments where we're like, oh my god, like, I'm questioning our relationship, this, that, and the other. It's the most petty argument. When we moved in with each other, it was a completely like another ball game of arguments. It was more like, you haven't made the bed today, or you haven't done this dishwasher, or you haven't done this, that, and the other. Like, I think it's so normal to argue. I think if you don't, then you're kind of letting things brush past you that probably shouldn't necessarily be brushed past you because then you're not going to learn to communicate through those problems. Or, it's like, also very dislikes. normal. The second you move in with each other, you will have many arguments. There is. Mm. Like the first month might be fine, but you're gonna have a lot of arguments because you have a lot of different yeah. views on things when you move in with each other. It's completely different. But in general, I mean, not that many people. No, we had a lot. We did argue a lot at the beginning. Yeah, but that I think that was just us like familiarising the way with each other, like in terms of because we were long distance before we moved in. It's kind of like getting to know each other's like routines, and it's completely fine if they're two completely different routines. But I think it's kind of like just getting used to what's going on. I feel like you genuinely don't know someone fully until you've moved in with them. It's not like you see someone for a few hours of the day. You see every, you see them at like their best and their worst, when they're upset, when they're happy, like you're with them 24 seven, obviously, unless you're going to work or like you're going on holidays and things like that. Like it can become very confining. I, again, I think it's completely normal to argue. I think it definitely depends on the stature of the argument. But to have like little bickers, like I know I'm the worst for bickering. Like I'll oh, hand on my heart. I will say that depending on what mood I'm in, I will genuinely create arguments out of thin air. That's no, no, the first I do time it. she's ever admitted that. Oh, before. stop it. You know first, I admit it. No, you have oh, never. Oh, give it a rest. Oh my god, no way you've admitted that. Before. Just way my day, that. That's <laughs> maybe I I'm bringing that up all the time now. Now the only problem with our arguments, we'll have a petty argument and then I won't get spoken to for the next eight hours. No joke. Zero joke. That's fun. This is a generic debate. If a guy is liking loads and loads of photos of girls in bikinis. Views from a male, please. Personally, I He likes all of them. No, I don't like I don't like any pictures anymore it's really bad i don't know why I think but i remember the begin at the beginning of our relationship i remember you messaging me it was like you sent a screenshot of me liking a girl in a bikini's picture did i actually yeah i think i know who this and is you were well. like what's this and i was like i didn't even know i've seen that picture oh i, I always think that's to, like a I classic used... response from guys that are like on, oh on i didn't life. realize i liked it i didn't realize no 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 my, i'm not saying i didn't realize like i liked like it because i've been single my whole life i would literally go through my phone just like Every post of every. Oh everyone. god, you were definitely a liker just to like try and get some kind of. No, I wouldn't go on someone's account and oh, like all that. Oh, you so I were. Wouldn't. I would just go for my feed and just like every picture. Like it was just a habit. And then when you sent me that, I was like, hmm, actually that probably does look quite bad. So I stopped it. Just say it to him. Like say it to him, and then mm. if I they have the respect for you, they'll yeah. stop it. I think loads of guys get really defensive about it. But it's like the thing is, I don't think a like means that much. Like why do you need to go out of your way to like something? Like if you're in a relationship, like why do you need to show that? Like I feel like likes are like you're showing that person that you really like that photo. Do you know what I mean? So for a guy in a relationship to be like, oh, I really like that photo. Like, just fucking leave it, man. No, but I don't so you think, think everyone likes your posts are thinking, I really like that post. Well, I know that I like the post that I genuinely like, otherwise I won't like it. So, but okay, right, hear me out here then. So all the boys who you follow and, follow, and they follow you, you're saying they all kind of fancy you because they like your pictures. They might. Do you know what I mean, though? That I like, I don't, no, I I don't not, see it in that, that, in that mind. No, not that like you fancy it, but you still like that photo. Like, yeah, at the end of the day, I don't think it's something to be too worried about. But if it's bothering you, just say it. Like, I'm, I'm sure they have enough yeah. respect. What? My brother is cheating on my best friend. Whose side shall oh, I be saw on? I saw this one. Wait, so brother is cheating, cheating on her best friend. Best friend side. Yeah, 100%. Like, I don't think you need to be on sides in general, but you should make sure your brother tells your best friend, otherwise you're going to tell her. Because mm. I think that's another really horrible situation for yourself to be in, to kind of like have to be put in the middle now that you know that information. How does that not your start? Place... I feel like this is not horrible in any way whatsoever, but I feel like when your brother is dating your best friend... That's sticking it, itself. Yeah, that, that's a recipe for disaster. That. <laughs> I would make sure your brother knows how it makes you feel in the sense that it's f***ing wrong. Yeah. First say it's your brother. If you still don't listen, tell your mum and dad about off your brother. <laughs> Why would you I would be snitching the shit. 
It's if I, oh mate. I'll... But no, I definitely think like it's one of those things where you don't want to like put yourself in the middle of that situation and be like the bearer of bad news because it should be your brother's like op like responsibility to have that conversation with your well, best it's, friend. It's respect for the for the girl. Equally, obviously, be there for your best friend because that's that's horrible for anyone to go mm. through. Also, put your brother in the fucking doghouse yeah. for a long time. <laughs> okay, how to deal with one person's moving away to uni when the other is staying at home? This was me and Jed. Got a long <laughs> ride out of here. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> to be fair, I think you're actually more happy that it's I'm tough. finishing uni than I am about yeah, finishing Yeah, I won't lie. Uni. It, it's tough. I think, to be fair, navigating the first few months was a bit difficult for us. Like, communication was key. And the thing is with Jed is, is if Jed is, like, upset or he's a bit off about something, I can tell immediately. Like, he likes to think yeah, he can I, cover no, it well, no, no, no. but I, he cannot. If I want to cover it well, I can, but I will show you signs. <laughs> So you can ask me what's wrong. So that you can like bait me into it. Yeah. But I think the thing is though is obviously the f I feel like uni life, the kind of like stereotypical uni life is the whole like you go to loads of like black parties and you're drinking quite a bit or you're out with friends and it does get quite like time consuming in the sense that because I know for a fact that I, when I went to uni I was like I went by myself, didn't know anyone, didn't have any friends going. So I felt like a massive pressure to kind of like within those first weeks kind of like get in a good friendship group or like speak to loads of people. So I know that my priorities, not to sound horrible, wasn't necessarily like oh I need to sit at home and FaceTime my boyfriend 24 7 it was more I need to go out and make friends it was more so hard for you being at home knowing that I was out all the time where I was doing this that and the other and I was speaking to new people very busy trying to build another aspect of my life I, I think it yeah it's personally it's much harder for the person who's not at uni because the person mm -hmm. at uni you got lots of stuff to distract you and mm -hmm. you're, you're either working or you're partying that's that's kind of what it is like for you but then for me we we're just coming out of lockdown still weren't much open kind of chilling Depressed at the time. Oh, Jed. I was depressed at the time. Babe. So I just put stuff in my head. But yeah. And I think that is the biggest thing is you have got to communicate. Like, as soon as you kind of get doubts or reservations or like you're a bit unsure on a situation or you haven't got the full picture, like, I think communication is one, the biggest thing. Two, is making time for each other. Even if that's like seeing the person, obviously, with the whole distance thing, that might be really hard. Or just kind of like putting a mark in the calendar, being like, date, FaceTime, night bo with boyfriend slash girlfriend, date them on Thursday night. Trusting the other half when they go out drinking slash clubbing with you. I I think you can kind of read that in two ways whether you read it as the they go off and speak to other people or whether they can't really handle their drink too well i think me and judd have definitely had our fair share of looking after each other on nights out mm. to say the least i think to be fair we have had a few arguments that have kind of like come of drinking and nights out because judd likes to put things in his head yeah basically whenever i'm oh, drunk you tell the story no whenever i'm drunk <laughs> imogen gets me dirty though. oh my god I'm i literally joking. don't it's he such makes a real thing. this I swear up to no 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 so this is how judd for some reason likes to take it so we it was i think it was either saffron's new year's party or like a moving in i think it was moving in wasn't it it wasn't yeah. like a party party but like people are drinking jed was heavily drinking so was his friend i was you know going around each to my own i was talking to some girls like i was talking to jed working my way through the room whatever uh jed, one of jed's best friends comes to the party the, every, everyone's just been drinking i've been drinking for the longest so i got to Saf's house first with imogen but i was just kind of drinking before Jack gets very there. excited when he drinks as well. Like he doesn't drink loads, so when he does, he's like, "Oh my god!" Like I can well, have it's because so I much. used to be able to drink loads when I used to go out all the time when I was single, and now oh, I just like just just chilling, isn't it? I I keep thinking I can drink that much when I can't. Mm. Um, but we're playing beer pong while everyone else is kind of like chilling in the kitchen. And it was like eight of us, and I kept playing over and over every match. Super drunk. Me and my mate decided to like just try and wind up Imogen because she kept get to me and him. We both kept thinking, "Why is she giving me a?" Either. Which I literally So we wasn't. thought, fuck it, we're just gonna wind her up. I found the whole situation like so funny, and like every now and then I'd give them like a jokey, like, what are you doing? But that was like as a so joke. So we would like run out to each other and be like, are you jealous? Are oh you jealous? God. Are you jealous, Imogen? So obviously I'd be there like, no, I'm not jealous. Like, I know this is what you do with your friends to like wind me up, and I like, I wasn't like, I wasn't like not having it. I was just like laughing it off where I'd be like, okay, like, have fun, sweeties, jog on. She was just giving us dirty looks. But they were literally running around saying I was so angry with them and I was this, that, and the other. And I was like, I literally haven't said two words to you. Like, I've been talking exactly. to people. We were saying so much and oh you were literally God. doing this. No, I was, I was not. I think drinking with your partner is by all means fun, in moderation. Definitely have a good communication um, on the night after. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. You're so annoying. But yeah, I think if you're in a relationship or you're not, you're going out with friends, I think like drink, just don't take it too far to the point where like you're ruining the night for everyone else. Like I think that's just like a standard rule. Yeah, I think you just need to understand how, like what your partner's like when they're drunk. Mm. 
Because, well, there are some people who just angry Take people when far. they get drunk or whatever, yeah. So. I feel like there's so many like, different types of drunk. Like, I feel like I'm the type of drunk where I'll either go to sleep or I'll just be a loony bin. There's no in between. No, you be a loony bin, then you go to sleep, and then everyone has to carry you. As soon as I decide that I'm going to sleep, I just collapse. Like, I will collapse without a doubt, so and that'll be me. It's the end of the night. Jed so is a paranoid drunk. I'm not paranoid. You're so paranoid. You think everyone's against you when you're drunk. That's a fact. No, I don't. Yes, you do. There's been multiple occasions where you've been like, like upset about something or another because you think this, that, and the other. Or Jeb will be the drunk where he'll take it too far within 0.5 seconds and black out within 0.5 seconds. I'm a very happy drunk, I think. Like, I'm an overexcited drunk. He's an annoying drunk. Yeah, I am a little annoyed. Because um, I can't hack it as much anymore. It's actually depressing. Jed's favourite thing ever, and the girls will vouch for me on my bear about this. Jed will go, but I'm sober now. I can act sober. Look, I and can then, act and sober. And he'll go, he'll go look, and his eyes will be like this, and he'll be like, yeah, I'm right, so sober. Right, my eyes go drunk before anything, by the way. So, if you see me, and I'm out, and I look pretty, like... Off his rocker. <laughs> If my eyes are just like going other ways, but apart from that, I look fine. It's probably because it hasn't hit me yet. Give me 10 minutes and I'll be Jed just everywhere. thinks he can act sober. Like we were all meant to go out for this meal in Marbella and the boys just basically, they didn't make it out the door. And Jed the entire time. We could time. have made it out the no. door. No. Well, I could have made it out the door. You made sure I stayed home. That that was it. Bro, you could barely walk. I could walk. Oh, we could. I was answering times tables for him. Oh my God, like within what, 50 minutes of you actually getting the fucking question. It was a big times table and, you and, gave and, me when and, I was drunk. Actually, Bethany. It was something like 5,462 times 97. Like, it wasn't that, but it Anyways, was around that. Yeah, that's also Jed's special talent, is if he'll go like, I'll be like, oh babe, you're a bit drunk. He'll be like, oh my god, no, ask for time's table. Ask for time's that's table. how I prove that I'm not drunk. If I get it right, Which, I'm not drunk. Anyways, I think we are going to leave the video there. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to comment, subscribe, like down below. We're going to go and film my other video in here. Huh? Oh, Jets! If you did like this video, make sure to voice your opinion. I feel like we can definitely make this into a series and maybe we like subdivide it into like little categories. So make sure you let me know if you like this video. It's like our little mini podcast. Peace and love. Safe. Bye, sweetie. Hey, sweetie. Bye, sweetie. Shut up, queen. What? <laughs>